All right, YouTube and people of the forums. This is my right side off looking at the clutch here. Everything looks good right now. Spacing, I don't know how much play there should be between these discs, but I can slightly move them. I'm assuming that's probably okay to allow the oil and stuff to get between them all and do its job. If I'm wrong, please tell me. Now, when I squeeze in the clutch lever, this is regular lever. Notice how it doesn't go back all the way unless, focus, if I squeeze the lever, let off and push forward and in at the same time, it's tight again. Sticks out, squeeze, push forward and in at the same time tight again. So, somewhere in here this plate is catching and not going all the way back to where it's supposed to. Now I don't know if it's supposed to be tighter than it is now or not. I can get this piece here to spin. This part, if I try to turn it, it you can hear the engine uh, making compression which I guess is good like you can hear air escaping from somewhere probably not you guys on the camera but I'm not sure if you could hear that or not but it makes a little hissing noise um, so yeah I'm gonna try to loosen off the clutch lever side of things and readjust it over there quickly and see if while this plate is depressed all the way in like this and see if I can fix it with the adjustment there and I'll check back in a second alright this could be part of it with the clutch all the way in like that and the handlebar turned all the way in this screw now has so much pressure on it that I can barely get it to turn if at all so Perhaps once I adjust this, we will be doing okay. Alright. Adjustment here has been done. This is where I like my clutch. I got long fingers. Adjustment down here is good. Just the slightest little play there. Look, I have a bolt and a nut sticking out properly now. Nice and smooth, but if I look on this side now, there's the clutch. The whole thing's moving properly. The play between the discs answered my own question. There was too much before, I assume. And now, when it's in gear, it's in gear. I can't spin the back tire freely by hand anymore. So, I think it's safe to say, if I wanted to, I could button it up and go ride. I got fresh oil to put in it. The only thing I'm thinking is, I was considering painting this plate painting it to match what's going to be the final product of the bike later on but if I do it right now I don't have to take this all apart later at the same time if I do it right now that means I can't put it back together so I'm going to take a few minutes sip on my beer try to figure things out this has to be all torqued down still I'll have to readjust the clutch after I torque everything and get it all nice probably I pull it a little bit tighter then my next job is to tune this carburetor I have to do plug reads on it it's a little bit rich right now and 
and uh, figure out a better place to mount this guy once I put the toolbox back in there. I did that for the test run that I never got to take. And then if I do paint this, I'm going to make a video on how to remove the left cover on an 86 XV750 because all the videos I found online were for people fixing the starter issue on the 81 to 84 which has a different starter than this, different process for removing the cover so I think I'll uh, help out the next guy a little bit and show him this stupid hex bolt in there and there's a bolt on the underside down here that you have to take off to get the get that uh, wishbone spring out so you can actually pull it off without disassembling your starter like I did and having to put it all back together but for now that's that we'll see you soon